Okay, in this clip I'm just going to quickly look at calculating the mean or expected value for a continuous random variable defined by a probably probability density function given by this that we looked at in parts 1 to 3. So, first thing I'm going to draw your attention to is the general equation for finding the expected value E of X and it's this equation. It's the integral from negative infinity to plus infinity of x multiplied by f of x. That's it for e of x. Now that translates to an integral, a combination of integrals that looks like that. Now why haven't I gone from negative 1, negative infinity to plus infinity? It's because I know that outside of negative 1 and above, neg and above positive 1 it's 0. So I only need to go from between these two uh, boundaries. And I know that in the boundary negative 1 to 0, f of x is defined by that. And from 0 to 1, it's defined by that. And I've still got my multiply by x in there as well, as I'm asked to do up here in, in the formula. So let's do that step at a step, step by step, step at a step. Oh. So 0 0.2 times x is just 0 0.2x. And where's my highlighter gone? And 0 0.2 plus 1.2x just becomes this. Now do those integrations. 0 0.2x integral of that is 0 0.2x squared over 2. Same here, and 1.2x squared is 1.2x cubed over 3. I need to do those definite boundaries. And the first part here becomes that. Substitute 0 in first, and then subtract what I get when I substitute negative 1. Here it's a bit more complicated because I've got two parts here. And I get 0 0.2 with the 1 substituted in plus 1.2 the one substituted in. I'm going to subtract what I get when I substitute in zero. We find that that's all equal to zero. So now I just take what I've got here and that all equals negative one, negative point one. And what I get here is point one plus point four. And I combine those, I get zero point four. So the expected value for our f of x is 0.4. You may also be asked to find e of x squared, the expected value of x squared. And in that case, you would use this formula. You carry out the same steps as before, but now you'd be multiplying the two parts of f of x by x squared, not x. Have a go at that. Tell me what you get. Leave a comment on the space underneath the clip. Yeah, that would be good. Why don't you do that? That'd be excellent. Cheers. Thank you. Bye.